along here. Thanks for watching. Today, we're going to talk about loans for startups and what a bank will look for. You know, startups are probably one of the most difficult ventures when it comes to securing financing. Many startups usually start to get financing from family, friends, or even credit cards. But if the credit is sound, the business plan is solid, and you have enough personal resources vested into the project, then the bank may take a look at it. This is where a bank will look at an SBA loan, more in particular, an SBA 7A loan. There's some facts I want to share with you regarding startup loans. The maximum loan amount for SBA startup loans is $5 million. However, the average amount for a startup business, according to SBA, is $337,730 to be exact. So make sure you're not asking for a million dollars right off the bat. Your loan terms that you're going to be looking at is anywhere from seven years for working capital and 10 years for equipment. The loan does need to try to be secured by collateral. If you are buying equipment, that will be used as collateral. But also, if you have equity in your primary residence, over 25%, that may be taken as additional collateral for your loan as well. A personal guarantee is required on all small business loans through the SBA when you have an ownership of 20% or more. A lot of businesses try to put a person as 19% in order to avoid this. Be very careful with that. Banks do take a look at that and wonder why you're doing such a thing like that. We will place a blanket lien on all business assets. And what that means is we literally take a big blanket, throw it over your business, and everything underneath that business is our collateral. That's anything from your chairs, your desks, as well as any equipment that you may purchase, as well as your house if you have a certain amount of equity within your home. Banks do like 20% equity invested into the project. Please don't ever go to the bank and say, how much money can you give me? It won't end well. We really want to make sure that you have personal resources invested in the project before the bank will put in their funds. Some important underwriting factors when looking at this type of loan is you will need a good credit score. You will need a credit score above 700. So please make sure you have that taken care of before you come to the bank. No bankruptcies or judgments. You know, in certain cases, if you have lots of cash, we can get around some of that, but usually bankruptcies and judgments are usually a deal killer. You need to have positive net worth. Take all your assets and add them up. Take all your liabilities and the things you owe, add it up, subtract the two together, and that number definitely needs to be positive. We definitely want a business plan. Depending on the dollar amount of the loan that you're requesting is also the length of your business plan. If you're asking for $5 million, you better have a pretty robust business plan. If you're asking for fifty dollars to $75,000, a two or three page plan should probably be sufficient. And of course, some sort of collateral for the loan. But remember, SBA loans cannot turn you down for lack of collateral, which is reason why they're so popular. Now, if you need additional resources besides any information that's located on my site at paltylong.com, other resources are the, your local SBA office. There's SCORE, uh, which has about 300 chapters nationwide. Google that and find the chapter that's local to you. These are retired executives that like helping small businesses uh, get all the information they need to start up their business. Also, if you're a woman in Washington State, there's the Women's Business Center, uh, which is also located here locally. Again, thanks for joining today, and I look forward to seeing you on another video. Thanks.